Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got a question that comes up again and again about Divi and it's how to make a full width YouTube video section uh, with a text overlay or whatever you want to put on top of it. Yeah it's you have to play with it a little bit to do it but it's perfectly possible and I'll show you how. We've got one going here and it's it's responsive so it should work on most devices for video backgrounds i would suggest disabling them on mobile devices like phones because a lot of phones just don't support them so this is obviously on desktop here i'm using google chrome with the great inspector tools here if i hit the f12 i can toggle it to look at it on tablet view as you can see it works fine on a tablet view there and if we switch it to a phone view I've got it disabled just with the background image in the background. So like I say, it works absolutely perfectly. Let me just turn this off and get rid of my inspector here. And I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that I want to do is get rid of my enable my visual builder. I'm going to go down to wireframe mode, little purple button, this little toggle right here. I'm going to delete this whole section. The reason I'm going to wireframe mode today is because we've got overlapping sections here and sometimes when you overlap contents it can be difficult to get through them on the front end so I'm going to do it on the back end. So I'm just going to hit the little trash can there. Okay well let's start again. I'm going to create a new section. I'll make a regular section with it. I'll put a single row, single column in there. Inside this first one I'm going to put a little code module. Now I'm just going to close this down while I get the code. I'm going to drag this section up the top. You can put it any way you want, but I kind of want to use it as a hero section up the top here. Okay, and in our code section, we're going to put our video. So if we go over to YouTube and select a video, I've got a video over here. I've just gone to YouTube. We're at the URL. And roll the video along to wherever you, you want to play it from. I'm going to play mine from about here, I guess. Wherever it looks best for you. And hit the little, let's make this full screen so we can see what we're doing. And hit the little share button right here. Then we want to hit the embed. And here's the embed code. And if we click the little start at, it'll start from the position that we stopped it from. And here's the code. You can either select it by left clicking and dragging or hit the little copy. Okay, so we copied our code now. We can get rid of this. Go back to our little code module here. And pop it in there. Okay, now we want this to autoplay. And to autoplay, we've got to modify the code a little bit. So if we look here, if I put this in the middle, and I'll zoom in when I'm editing this video. So there's where it's going to start to play from, 21115. Right after that and before the inverted commas there, we want to say ampersand or the and symbol. We're going to say autoplay equals one. That'll make it start to autoplay automatically. And if you want to mute it, which I suggest, because most videos, it annoys people if you have things going on in the background when they land on the site, but that's up to you. So to mute it, I'm going to add this next bit, which is ampersand or and again. Mute, M-U-T-E, equals one also. And I'll put that little bit of code down below if anybody needs to copy it. And just remember, put it right after the start time, if you have a start time. And before that inverted comma there. So if we save this and flip to desktop mode, that should start playing automatically. There we go, fantastic. Okay, now we want this to be full width. Don't want any gap, top or bottom. And I only want it really to be about 500 pixels tall. So let's take care of that. Again, I'm gonna go back to the back end here. Let's get rid of the gaps first. So I'm going to go into my section, design, spacing. 
make sure there's no padding top or bottom there we go that's got rid of the spacing on the section the blue tab now let's go into our row and I'll do a similar thing and I'm also going to make this row full width Again, I'm going to go into design spacing padding zero no spacing on our row now and I want to make it full width so let's close up the spacing go above it to sizing I'm going to slide the width slider up to 100% I'm going to copy the 100% control C to copy and I'm going to paste it down below in max width or you can just type it in if you prefer okay so we should have a full width video now but if I play this now let's switch it to desktop it's going to be full width and it's going to be full height as well as you can see it's taking up the full screen which is great if you want a full screen video like that but I really don't it's too deep for me I really only want it about 500 so let's go back and let's fix that and to do that I'm gonna make this section give it a fixed height so let's go into the section I'm gonna to go to design I'm gonna to go to sizing max width min height 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 I'm gonna give it 500 pixels or obviously whatever height you want to give yours and I'm not changing any of the code here so it's just going to show the top half of the video which for this sort of video is going to work absolutely fine but to make this work correctly we need to go to our advanced and down to visibility and get rid of any overflow so we've got horizontal overflow I'm going to change that to hidden because the video is going to be spilling out of it because it's bigger than the actual section so I'm going to hide it by putting hidden in both vertical and horizontal overflow in the advanced tab okay let's just save that take a look at it now fantastic we've got our little video in the background it is actually playing there it just happened to be a fairly still part and it's the height that I want it now as I mentioned earlier it's a good idea to have videos disabled on mobile devices because if you don't then you're going to get a lot of nothing when people look at it on their phones so let's go back into our wireframe mode and I'm going to put a still from the video I took a little still from this video and put it in Photoshop and just chopped it you can do that with paint or whatever graphics program you like and I'm going to upload that to the background of the section so that while it's loading and also when we decide not to show part of the content it'll show that still so back in the section again I'm going to go to the background I'm going to go over to image and I'm going to upload that image and there it is I've just got it uploaded it already from the one we did before great so that's that taken care of now we actually want to add something on top of it so I'm going to add another module below I'm going to use a call to action because it's got the nice button and a title so put in whatever you want for the title now for the button whatever you want it to say in your button right here the button won't show up until we put a link in there we'll do that in a second but while we're here let's add some media I haven't got any content to put in there so I'm going to add some dummy from Laura Mips in here I don't want quite as much as that Let's take about this much pop that in there that's great and like I say I'll put a link in and our button should show up but of course this is going to show up below our video right there so I'll put the link in and we'll save this for the minute and see what we've got I'll just fl flip it to desktop mode again if I roll down a bit there it is under our video and the reason our video is going full width when I do that is because it's we're in the editor and the overflow is not being hidden anymore and that's what would have happened if we didn't do the hide so it's there colors are all right I just need to let's go in there and actually do it here take away that background so I'm going into the content I'm going to take away the background 
I'm going to give it a bit of padding left and right so it squishes in a little bit. This is why we have to do it on wireframe mode really when we're doing this. So I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to spacing. You could do this with sizing, but I'm going to do it with spacing. And I'm going to hover over the little mobile phone icon there because I might want to do different spacing on different sizes. And I know from experience that uh, if I do say 20% on desktop and left and right and on tablet and mobile I'll do 10% which is great and it should be same on mobile yep it'll inherit that so that should work there we've taken the background away but of course we want it to be in the middle of our nice video section here so let's go over to our advanced settings and let's just flip it back you may be able to see what's going on here and I'm going to go to position I'm going to say absolute right there I'm going to plop it up at the top here maybe in the middle and I'm going to drag the Z index up so it's on top of the one that's above it. There it is. And it suddenly appeared for us, as you see, when I've taken that Z index up. So let's put it on the top. And we've got a vertical offset here. So what I'm going to do is drag it down to where I want it, which is right there. And of course, now we can see it a lot better. Let's go to our styling. I'll go to design and let's make that title a bit bigger and bolder. So I'm going to make it bold and just a slight bit bigger. OK, that's working perfectly for us. But let's go back down to our visibility, or sorry, our position. And I want to see what it's going to look like on desktop, on tablet and mobile also. So I'm going to hover over vertical offset, hit the little mobile phone type icon. Let's flip it to tablet. That is actually OK on tablet. Um, I think it's spilling out the bottom just a bit there yet. So let's take it up a little bit with our vertical offset. There we go, because you can see the whole video there. The button was just spilling out a bit. So let's take it to about there for our tablet. And on mobile, we'll have a look at it, but I'm going to disable that video on mobile. Let's go back up. As you can see, because the video will be squashed up the top here. And we can't fit all that in and you probably want your uh, content there so what we can do let's just take that up a little bit to where we want it we'll save this now let's go into the actual video module itself looks like it's a bit too short still on the desktop let's just check that There we go. Check it again on tablet. Yeah, that's fine. Great. OK, let's save that. And on the video module, which was on top here, let's go back into wireframe mode. I'm just simply going to hide it on mobile. So that's our code module right there. Going to go in there. Going to go to advanced and visibility. Disable on phone. Great. And we should be good to go. Let's save our draft or publish if you're ready. We'll exit the visual builder. And there we go. We've got our little video. It's a little quiet bit, but it is actually rolling in the background there. That's great. That seems to work perfectly. Let's have a look at it on tablet. I'm going to hit my F12 key. Like I say, I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools. I'm sure other browsers have this too. Let's just toggle the responsive. That's on a phone. And on the phone, as you can see, we've got the whole section there with our image in the background. And we've still got our content showing nicely on there. If I flip this to tablet, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go, we still got our video playing and our call to actions nicely in the middle of our video section there. So that's working nicely. I'm very pleased with that. Let's just take this off completely now. 
back to desktop and there we have it so there you go guys that's how to put a YouTube video as a full width section with a call to action on top like I say this question comes up all the time and it's a bit of a fiddle but it can be done and the results are pretty good so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesigntechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day